Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I do this meat stir fry with spaghetti, okay? So first of all, I'm going to start with boiling the spaghetti. I'm going to boil it about 10 minutes and, and remove it from the water and wash out the starch. Okay. to cook it again the second time so I added salt and added oil so I'm going to use it and cook it okay yeah why I'm adding this oil is that I don't want it to be gumming to each other I want it to be free okay so I'm going to boil it about 10 minutes but I don't want the spaghetti to be too soft okay so it depends on how you want it okay so now i'll finish cooking the spaghetti and mixing it up in a boil so i added black pepper oregano then i'll add oil again and turn everything together So this oil will make it not to stick together to so make it to be free when bringing out from the bowl okay so i'm mixing everything together you can see that so if you don't have oregano you can use thyme you can use the uh, basilicon okay so depending on the one you have okay but oregano is the best for it but other ones when i don't have oregano i use these ones to do it so i'm going to use this for the spaghetti sauce so I have here the bell pepper, you can see that, then I have mushroom, the fresh one, then I have carrots. So all these I'm going to use for the cooking, okay? Here I have all the spices that I'm going to use for the meat, okay? So I have garlic, I have uh, cayenne pepper, I have uh, oregano, ginger curry, thyme, paprika, we call it bell pepper, okay? So I'm going to use all these things and nutmeg. I'm going to use it for the meat, okay, before frying it. So I have black pepper, meat spices, maggi, and soya sauce. So black pepper is optional if you want you can add it to it okay so that's what i'm going the spices i'm going to use for this so i have cornstarch and egg i'm going to use the egg to add in into the meat and mix everything together i have garlic onions and ginger with shallow onion so here i have broccoli so I'm going to add it into into it, the stir fry. Okay. So after cutting the broccoli, I'm going to cut the carrot into pieces. So you can see how I cut it. Mine. So I'm going to cut everything. After cutting the carrots, I'm going to cut the bell peppers. You can see that. So the bell peppers is good for the stir fry. It gives it a good look and a good taste also. So 
So after cutting the bell peppers, then I'll cut the celery. I like putting the celery into the stir fry, especially meat stir fry, okay? So it's optional. If you like it, then you add it because it's very nice, okay? It tastes good with it. Then I'll be chopping the garlic, ginger and onions together because I'm going to fry it all together. I don't want to do it separately, okay? So I also like adding mushroom into the stir fry. So now I'm going to cut the meat into pieces. So after cutting the meat, I'm going to mix the spices into it and turn everything together and leave it about 5 minutes before frying it, okay? Now I'm going to add the spices into the meat. Okay. And now add the salt. Then add the meat spices and the maggi.
and now I'll be adding the egg before I told you I'm going to add the egg into the meat so that's what I'm doing now then I'll add the corn flour so after that I'm going to mix everything together the egg will help it to stick very well with the corn flour So after mixing everything together, so I'm going to keep it about 5 minutes before frying it, okay? Then I'm going to add a little oil in it and turn it together again with the black pepper. You know I said it's optional. If you have ordinary pepper, then you can use it. So now I'm going to fry the meat. So I added the oil into the pan. So I allow the oil to be hot before adding the meat. So I'm going to fry it about 20 minutes, okay? So after frying about 20 minutes, you can see how it looks like. So I'm going to remove it from the pan so I can fry the vegetables, the onions. So I'm going to fry the mushroom first. Okay, you know I did not cook it. So I added ginger, garlic and onions and fried all together. So when it's okay, then I'll add the carrots. You know carrots is hard, so you need to add it first. Okay. So I'm going to fry the carrot about three minutes before adding the bell peppers. Okay. So that's the bell pepper with the celery. I added everything together. So I'm going to fry it about four minutes. Okay. So after that, I'm going to add the spring onions before the broccoli. So I'm adding the broccoli now, so I'm going to fry it about 2 minutes because I don't want to be too soft, okay? I want it half done. Then I'll be adding the meat, the one I fried before, you know, at the first time I fried the meat, so that's what I'm adding now. So after that, I'm going to add the soya sauce. The soya sauce is nice. I like it so much. 
it's good for this stir fry fried rice you know so i like using it in all this food so i'm going to add the corn flour water because i added water into the corn flour then before putting it in the stir fry i don't want to add the flour just like that's the dry one so i added the maggi the meat spices all together but i'm going to add another corn flour because the first one i did is not enough so i'm going to add small water in the corn flour again and add in the stir fry okay so it will stick together okay So that's the corn flour water the second time I'm adding it because the first one is not enough after adding everything together I'm going to leave it about three minutes before bringing it out so guys the food is ready you can see how beautiful it is the spaghetti with the stir fry so that's how i prepare my stir fry at home So after making the meal, I have a visitor at home, so he's so willingly to test the food. So you can see, <laughs> he's enjoying the food. He said it's so nice, so tasty, so I appreciate so much, okay? So that's all about making my stir fry at home. I can't wait to eat mine okay <laughs> so guys thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share okay see you on my next video thank you